Moving on, Kenya's uh, energy costs have for years been deemed as an impediment to rapid economic growth. Manufacturers and businesses alike have seen their margins weighed down by the high cost of energy, forcing many to invest in getting off the national grid. Strathmore University is one such institution that is harnessing the energy of the sun, saving the situation and the institution as much as 1.2 million shillings a month using solar energy. Here is KTN's Philip Keitani with more. The over-reliance of hydropower, which is susceptible to weather changes, has seen dependence on thermal plants for emergency power during droughts, increase the cost of power, making Kenya an unreliable destination for investors. It is through this unreliability and the high cost of power that saw Strathmore University become the first fully carbon-neutral university in sub-Saharan Africa by installing a one-megawatt grid connected system that is made up of 2,400 solar panels and 30 inverters. The system we have is whereby we are consuming as we produce. Yeah, and as we grow, then, uh, of course, the optimal size keep on changing. Strathmore's journey to green energy kicked off last year. At a time, it was paying as much as 3.4 million shillings on power monthly for the institution of higher learning. This was not sustainable. We are operating in an environment whereby you cannot pass all the cost to the parents or the sponsors of the students. You have to come up with innovative way of managing the cost. But due to the high cost of financing the project, the university secured green funds at concessionary rates from the cooperative bank, with the proposed system becoming the first commercially viable grid-connected system in Kenya and the largest in the East African region, meeting the university's annual electricity demand of 1,228 kilowatts. The first thing that we had to do was to do uh, an audit of all the buildings to ensure that they would carry the load that we are going to put on, that of, on top of the roofs, that's the panels and the other accessories. So the challenge was to identify which roof was strong enough or weak. Daily power production is between 2.2 to 2.8 megawatts. That is more than sufficient for the university's needs. Whenever there is excess power, it goes to the grid, oh. okay? Uh, and then there is a sort of uh, a set of or Kenya Power pays us for the excess power. With more companies going off-grid, it sounds an alarm bell to the government to provide affordable power. The government set a five-year program to add 5,000 megawatts to the national grid, but has been slow off the mark. Philip Kitan, KTN Business.